just want to talk about well um <laughs> extraordinary story um uh, this is uh, this is a story that uh, is a claim uh, that um, a four-day week those of us who do work a four-day week now thank you very much but i did i did i took the 20 percent pay cut i didn't say five days pay for a four-day week I, I was totally honest about it but a lot of people have been moving to a four-day week but a four-day week could be we're told racist according to a new report by who else the welsh government they say reduced hours may widen inequalities between office staff and those who work on the front line especially when you're looking at services which operate 24 hours a day seven days a week so white collar workers benefit more um, uh, than uh, than those who are in blue collar jobs and it's more likely that we know in many uh, groups of workers that ethnic minorities are, are maybe more likely to be working in those blue collar jobs is it racist well let's talk uh, to someone who's a big fan of the four-day week joe ryle is director of the four-day week campaign uh, good morning to you great to find you working today <laughs> Hi, Julia. I'm pleased to hear you're working a four-day week as well. Uh, well, uh, yeah, but uh, there's a difference between a four-day week and a five-day week where you're put, pretending to put it into four days. I, di I didn't expect to be paid for the day I sat at home. Well, I mean, you know, well, you know, we argue for a four-day week with no loss of pay because you know, I know. we seen. Because basically, you discovered seen... that most people only do four days' work, and when they get, whenever, oh. when anyone says, "Oh, we haven't cut any, we've we've, we've lost nothing in output, we've improved productivity," no, what. Well, Fifth of the time, your staff were doing nothing. That's why you've been able to do it over a four-day week. But let's talk about, is it racist to have a four-day week? I mean, this is I mean, a new one on me. I mean, yeah, I mean, I hope you can agree. It is a bit of a nonsense headline, I have to say. I mean, it obviously grabs people's attention. But um, my understanding is it was a report by the Welsh Government that was very kind of positive about the benefits of a four-day working week and the potential pilot they're going to run there. There was one paragraph in the report that said, it could exacerbate some existing inequalities. I don't know how the journalists and the Telegraph has ended up with, with the four-day week could be racist. I mean, the truth is that claims of four-day week could widen inequality. You know, they're wrong. They're, they're way off the mark. Because actually those that stand to benefit most from a four-day week include people like disabled people, those with caring responsibilities on the margins of society. You know, it's going to make a tremendous difference to their lives having one day less at work with no loss in pay. So I have to say... It does seem like a, a nonsense story. Well, it will well. benefit some, but it will, it will hurt others. But the reality is, as we know, you know, is that there, there are only certain jobs that can be squidged into four days as opposed to five days because other jobs do need to be done. Basically, you're going to have to hire someone else to do those jobs at that time. You can't be a waitress working from home or a taxi driver working from home or or work in the, you know, on the production line of a factory and work from home or, you know, or say, well, I'm just going to get more done in four days and five days. Those machines operate at a certain rate. They need to be uh, mended and serviced and the like. And the reality is that a lot of the new working practices, the move to four-day week, and people working from home as well, which often seems to be added in to that. Um, it, it, it's, it's for office workers. But everyone else, I mean, people still need their bins collected. They still need people manning supermarkets. So it doesn't work for everyone else. So this is actually about, basically, the middle classes getting to do fewer hours, isn't it? That's not true. I mean, that may have been true a few years ago, but actually, as you were saying at the beginning, the four-day week has come a long way since then. And actually, in the last few years, we've seen all sorts of different companies adopting a four-day week. We've had firms in the construction sector, retail, manufacturing. Well, we the construction the sector. So we're just going to... We're only going to do building on Monday to Thursday, but not on a Friday. And how is that benefiting the construction sector? Well, the problem industry? in the construction sector is that workers are so tired and exhausted working five days that actually lots of builders report... They're knackered by Friday and don't get much done on a Friday. Human anyway, beings used to work sector. a six or seven day week. I mean, in most societies, until about 30, 40 years ago, everybody worked a six day week and they were grateful yeah, for it. Yeah, I know. And it's it's time for change. I mean, look, there's certain industries where it's, it's definitely going to be more difficult to implement. You know, I'll be honest about that. But what we're talking about here is a kind of long term transition. We're not saying everyone can move to a four day week overnight. Of course not. You know, there's got to be a transition to get there. But we do think over a period of like a decade, in the same way that we moved from a six-day week to a five-day week 100 years ago, we do think the economy can start to transition to a four-day week. If you think about automation, new technology, artificial intelligence, all of these technologies are going to make us more productive. And so we have to be in the work, you know, we should be in the workplace gonna, less so we can all have time to enjoy our I lives. think it's going to make some jobs more productive. I'm not sure it's going to make a lot of them, though. I'm really good to talk to you. Always good, uh, fun to have you on the show. Uh, Joe Ryle there, director of the Four Day Week campaign on, on one of his working days. Benedict Spence, I mean, how many have, days a week do you work? I, I don't take days off, as anybody who tunes into any sort of television show. Yes, I'm... 
embedded in like a tick. The idea that automation is going to sort of take over things, that only works in an industrialised society. So yeah. China and Japan are getting a yeah. lot of that, but we aren't because we don't make anything. Ultimately, very that's good, not very helpful, Very good point. And it's not racist. <laughs> Madness. That's no. the Welsh government for you. Love them. This is Talk TV.